And when we do that, we have to understand that this is a big responsibility. It's something we as a society, we as the human race, must think about very, very carefully. Because imagine, people can hack your cell phone now. People can hack your computer. And it can be bad. They can steal your banking information, take all your money. They can steal your identity. But they can't really hurt you. In the future, though, if somebody hacks into your head because it's connected to the internet, they can steal you. They could actually steal you. They can implant memories in your head that you don't have. They could erase memories. They could control you in, w in ways that you wouldn't even know you're being controlled. Is this scary? So I painted on the hand a uh, heaven, but there is also a hell, right? This is heaven and hell. We are on the cusp of this technology that is so powerful and has the potential to so radically transform our lives and our existence, and we have to be very careful about how we do this. We don't want people controlling us. So think about this. Think very carefully. Everybody in this room are very smart people. You're all highly educated. We are going to be making these decisions that lay the groundwork for this technology in our lifetime. And those decisions will affect the rest of humanity more than any decisions we have made in the past. So I wanted to thank you. Um, I am the author also of this book, <laughs> Making Elephants Fly, published by Zhang Xin. And I love China. I travel here all the time looking at new technologies. And 